Let's talk about how to extend the requirements with custom verification method or in general any custom property and have this available for use uh, in uh, different uh, scenarios. For example, requirement synchronization with requirement management external solution, for example, for Excel import export uh, and uh, just regularly for the requirements uh, management and creation. Here you see actual working solution uh, requirement uh, and uh, custom verification method and this verification method has uh, extra choices and you can see one difference is that you can have multiple values added uh, when uh, originally verification method has al just allows one verification method on top of that we have our own uh, lab test simulation and uh, rig test uh, choices here added uh, and here you can decide how many of those verification methods you want to have like that you can export this model to excel write to file okay i can open this file desktop Okay, you see I have this now available and I can uh, copy, let's see, copy, paste, paste, my requirement two, three, my requirement four, this will have no analysis, just test, this will have no test, just that save close and here i can go and read from file read from file choose my custom requirement type that's important because if i choose existing requirement it will have no such property and here you have those new requirements are here with custom verification methods so now let's see how this solution is created as you can see we have a custom package which is uh, profile so this is specific profile to hold the stereotype inside of that profile we have profile diagram and here we have uh, requirement type which we want to extend always good idea to extend extended requirement we extend with custom stereotype here you can find it and then add verification method with multiplicity whatever you want like from zero to many default value like test let's say then we create verification method uh, custom uh, property which you can actually copy from uh, here from profile verification method you just copy that to your profile in order to have your own choices and then you set that as a type for verification method right and then on top of that you have we have uh, you see customization which is here to have nice uh, waste customization here with the requir new requirement as a type to have nice uh, standard expert uh, customizations here in order to have uh, our own verification method visible not the standard one so when you open this new requirement in specification you see the verification method here instead of the standard verification which you can actually see here if i will create standard requirement and double click open specification you see i have verification method which is standard one not the new one but here i can also add you see new custom requirement and then i have those new verification method here you see verification method with all the options here also, you can add this new requirement into the diagram, requirement diagram here by clicking that, uh, place in diagram palette, you can say rec, uh, my requirement, let's say, and then you specify the place where it will be placed, you know, it's very simple as you see, requirements diagram, move it down from the common group to the to the actually a little bit clicking here to the requirements group which is 
way below. Here go requirements. I can put it, you see, extended requirement mine. Okay, close. And if I will go here and uh, will create my requirements, requ requirements diagram, you see I have my requirement here. This is extended my requirement, which has game verification method, which you can see here. So now I will go through the steps how I did that, you know, pretty much. Uh, okay, let's delete that, uh, all the customization. And uh, I also don't need my my model, so let's do it from scratch. So create uh, uh, element, profile, my profile might be for requirements but also profile diagram then stereotype we'll call it x then that requirement you see i can pick extended requirements from the list then create stereotype uh, will be my rec and here i can add property where method and then the type will be containment tree yes the type will be this verification method, but I will copy it. It will be my verification method. My verification method. Method kind. Drag it here. I can add uh, test uh, rig simulation and then also lab lab test. And then here I can put the uh, multiplicity. I fill multiplicity from zero to many in order to have any number of uh, possible choices. I set this as a type. So now it works actually. I just need, for example, icon because this requirement will not have icon. Let's see how it looks like without icon. Create uh, the diagram table here. If I will click add add new custom you see this does not have icon so i want that icon would exist so then i go here and in the table i create a new requirement here i then take that uh, screenshot of this icon like this and then file save as we'll save it here as a PNG icon and then go here double click icon not from library but from the file system <coughs> desktop will choose this one close and then uh, now it works uh, like so I can see the icon okay you see my requirement with the icon I can now also create customization and show this just this property because otherwise it will not show like for example if I will create this requirement here you see I can choose a custom verification method where very verification method this property right but um, for this my requirement yeah as many of those properties i need to but uh, the problem is that it does not show that in specification of the element if i will go into specification still standard verify method if i want to get custom one i need customization my my rec which actually gives all the other different values i drag it as a customization target i go here standard expert configuration standard expert configuration this is one way to show what properties i want to have and then the method this one will be visible that's it and then name visible risk visible owner visible source visible 
And you can also change the order how they are visible. You see verification method can go down and name can go up. You know, you decide, you know, what would be the order in the properties. Okay, and then you can also set other properties like, you know, like name, how it will look like, like keyword and representation name and so on, so on, relation rules. And, but that's pretty much it. That's the complete solution here, what you have. And let's save this model and let's restart the project. And why I need to do it? Because all the meta level <coughs> setup requires to restart the project open the project in order to apply correctly so now you have here you see like i can add new custom requirement it's called my requirement i show columns which will be verification method method you see here now it's shown as a property not log as a tag right i can choose here values and also uh, import export from excel right used for the requirements management and also in the requirements diagram okay if i want to add it i can add you know uh, place in the diagrams palette rec and then again i will do the same here as you saw before me doing requirements table and I will drag it to requirements diagram here and it will be under the requirement or even maybe above the requirement here. Okay, I can create even a group you see and this will be my main requirement in the group. Come on. Yeah. Looks like I can't add a new group uh, for the requirement. Uh, here I can just move it here, move the group here. Custom group, it's not that group. Up, create group. I can't add existing requirement to the group. In any case, so I have my requirement. I close it and then uh, save it again. Uh, if I will open the new diagram, block diagram, you see my requirement is here, right? And I can create it. And then if we go to specification, only properties besides selected that I care about is here. Expert more properties like owner based on the standard expert configuration. And that's a complete solution to have custom requirement verification method and any other property based on the standard extension mechanism for CSML. So thank you and let me know if any questions.